fly. Look, there's a four beaner. Hey guys, it's uh, Monday. We had about a quarter of an inch, or a little under a quarter of an inch rain yesterday. Uh, so that was welcome, got rained out, but uh, it's a little slow today. Just checking on some stuff. This is not going to be a full video that will come out today. Uh, I'll combine it with tomorrow's stuff. So I uh, wanted to check on my uh, early planted beans that were coming up and see how they handle the frost. Well, they don't seem to be dead, but we do have some damage. Uh, yeah, that one there got nipped. I don't know if it's dead or not. Oh, I gotta get these sprayed. But some of these other ones look okay. I think they're gonna make it actually, which is awesome. So we'll see. That one there is not gonna make it, but these other ones don't look terrible. We'll keep an eye on them. You guys remember that tile cleaner that uh, my dad made up a couple weeks ago? Well, today is the day he has picked to use it to clean out this tile. It's like 45 degrees and windy and cloudy and crappy day, coldest day we've had in several weeks. But we're gonna plan to water anyway. So here's the end of the tile that we're gonna attempt to clean out. I know you can't see in there, I can't see in there either. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna run the power washer up in there and see what happens, I guess. Dad's on his way down here with a uh, backhoe. I'm gonna have him scoop out just a little bit so we got a flat spot to set that power washer down in here. Get as close to the tile as we can. So we got plenty of hose. We've got it dug up over there. Uh, we may try and go from that side as well. We're not gonna have enough hose to reach the whole thing, but uh, we'll see what it does. This should be interesting. Dad doing what he does best, running the backhoe. I'm not sure if it's working or not, but we got it shoved in there a ways. Seems like it's got to help. Yeah, I would think. A lot of muddy water. Thank you. All right, well, we pushed that thing in as far as we could go from the ditch. And over there is where it's uh, we had dug it up before. Um, we decided to dig it up in the middle here so we can push it both ways from here if we need to. Uh, I don't know if we got out what we needed to get out from down that way or not, but we thought if we digged up here and then pushed back towards the river, uh, we'd get back to the point where we had, had made it from that way and maybe we'll uh, be able to get the whole thing this way. Well, in the process of digging up that plastic, we found an old clay tile. I don't think that one's doing a whole lot. She's plugged right full of mud. To be fair, it's been there for probably 60 years. That's how they did clay or tile back in the day is uh, little clay sections and the water seeps in between the cracks. All hand dug, hand laid. That was a lot of work. Plastic is much easier. Okay, well we found what we're looking for, but there's not supposed to be water in it, which is why we're cleaning it. Connections old school style. Take a T, tap it right into the top of the main and just cover it up. Yeah, that ought to work. I guess it did for what, 40, 40 years? years? Yeah, that's true. All right, well, we were able to uh, shove that uh, power washer in through the tile quite a ways, but didn't make it all the way through. It just stopped going. Uh, it was taking some water a little bit better than it was, but uh, I don't know. We may have to either dig it up in another spot and try and see if we can't find something or uh, just replace the whole tile. It's a fairly short one, so 
it's not the end of the world if that's what ends up happening, but hopefully it works a little better than it did. Good morning. It's going to be a busy day. We're uh, going to try and finish planting today. Dad's getting the sprayer rolling. Going to try and get a lot of spraying done in the next two days. So I'm going to check in with him real quick, and then we're going to head over to the field where we got rained out the other day. All right. Well, since Dad is spraying this morning and Phil's going to plant beans, uh, we get to finish disking this field here before we get back into the planter, which is all right because uh, it'll give it a little bit of sunshine here, a couple hours to, to dry off just a little bit more uh, for the planter. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Dad's got most of this field done, uh, but we've got one over there on the other side of a lane that we've got to hit. Um, so yeah, this will be fun. You guys, this is super weird. I have never done anything like this before, and it's 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 kind of hard to do, to be honest. Let me show you. Do you see what I'm driving in? Can you see the rows? Those are soybeans. This is a field of standing soybeans, and we are disking them under, and it's weird. I feel like I should get a combine instead of a disc in this field. Uh, and I'm sure some of you are wondering what the heck is going on. And I'm going to explain this as best that I can. Um, so last spring, it was super wet around here. I've talked about that a lot. Well, this field in particular was too wet to plant. And so we took a prevent plant payment on it. And when you take that prevent plant payment, part of the stipulations is you obviously cannot plant a crop and harvest it. But when the rules kind of changed throughout the summer, eventually they decided that it was allowable to uh, harvest a forage crop after September 1st. And so we planted this field to a cover crop of soybeans. Now, I don't know if soybeans are always allowed as a cover crop or not, but they were last year. And so we planted cover crop soybeans in here and uh, with the intention that uh, a friend of ours would uh, cut them like hay crop and bale them after September 1st. Now, um, he, he did bale some on that field that we planted the other day, but not this field. It was just too many of them and he couldn't do it. So the other reason that we planted soybeans or part of it was that I had leftover seed that needed to get used up and this was a good spot to use it. Um, well, the beans grew really well, as you can see, they're still here, and there's beans in them, uh, probably somewhere between 10 and 20 bushel the acre if we would come out with a combine and harvest them, but we took that prevent plant payment, so if we harvest them, we would have to repay that along with a bunch of penalties, and it's not worth it, and so we're disking them under. And it's really weird, and I don't like doing it, but we don't have much choice here, so. Uh, yeah. We're gonna disc them under. I'm thinking that we're probably gonna have to hit it twice, and then we're gonna plant corn and hope that our corn herbicides keep all the volunteer beans from growing, because there is a lot of beans out here. Let's get out and take a look at this, just for, uh, see what we're dealing with a little bit. You can see there's there's beans here. Uh, they may not be great beans, but they were planted like the 18th to 20th of July. Look, there's a four beaner. Crazy. Can I break it open? Yep, we got beans. They look good. It's quite the shame that we can't harvest this crop. Um, but it is what it is. Our disc is doing a pretty nice job chopping stuff up. We got a little uh, little moisture in the ground this morning from the rain we had a couple days ago, but it's not too bad. Getting nice loose dirt. Actually, I don't know. This is plantable. I thought maybe I was going to have to hit it again, but now I'm looking at this. Maybe not. We'll have to look at the stuff Dad did the other day, but um, huh, it's going. We'll keep moving here. We got a little bit to finish here, and then we got to go up by the road and do a little bit. And... Yeah, what a shame. All right, well, I just finished up that field and uh, looking at the dirt and stuff that was done before, I really think I can just plant it and there's no need to work it again. 
So I'm going to move the planter out of the way so that I can fold this up and park it where the planter's at, out of the field on that grass strip there. And then we'll get the planter going. All right, we are back in the planter for what hopefully is the last day of plant 2020. Uh, we've got 65-ish acres here to do and then another 70 in another place. So hopefully Phil gets done quick. He can come get that disc and head to the next field so it'll be ready for us. But we'll see. If we got to do it ourselves, we'll do it ourselves. Hey, Al, does this work for you? You're welcome, bud. Well, dang it, who parked that tractor in the way? Okay, I've got uh, a few of the ends planted. I just want to get out and dig real quick and make sure we're doing an okay job in this uh, disc soybeans. Look at all the beans laying on the ground. Oh, I sure hope our corn herbicide works. Keeps beans from growing. Because they're everywhere. Oh, there was corn seed. Dirt depth is pretty good. We got lots of moisture. Got to be another one pretty quick. Right there he is. Two inches. That's what we want to see. Yep, I'm happy. I just went to get a drink out of my uh, Arctic gallon jug that I filled on Sunday. Sunday. You hear that? There's still ice. Oh, it's awesome. I left in the tractor. Said Sunday. Finished that field over there on the other side of the lane, and uh, we're working on this uh, one right here now. There's only uh, 26 acres in the field total. We got 22 to go, so it should take us about an hour, and then we'll be done here, ready to head back to the farm and fill up for the last farm. Just looking back at the planter as we were planting along and I noticed a bit of a problem here. We got fertilizer pouring out all over. This hose is loose. Sorry. I don't know why that hose is loose, but we gotta fix it. Cause this is a problem. All right, well, I did get it pushed in farther. It seems to be better now. Hopefully it doesn't leak anymore. That's a problem. Gonna have to get out and fix that one. I don't know why that uh, blade quit turning on that uh, fertilizer opener. I got a stone or something caught between the boot and the blade. They're working it out. Yep, right. Right there, see that rock? Jammed it up, I'll get it out. Much better. That little rock, unbelievable. There are still soybeans everywhere. Oh man. All right, we're just finishing up the last pass here on uh, this farm. Time to fold up, head back to our farm. Uh, fill up with fertilizer. We're gonna fill up as much as we got. I think we're gonna end up draining that tank, which is fine. Uh, we'll see how much short we are and we'll adjust our rate from there just to uh, use it up and make sure we're, uh, uh, we got enough to do everything. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the disc is still sitting here, which means Phil is either not done planting beans yet or something else is going on, but uh, it's gonna take us a little while to get stuff moved and we may have to do some more discing before we can plant, so. Hopefully we'll still have enough time to get it all done today. There's only 70 or 75 acres, so it uh, won't take that long, but uh, it's 20 miles away and the move is going to be a little time consuming. All right, well, I got back to the farm and uh, one of my customers called me. I was looking for some beans to finish up, so I'm going to go through my pile over there and find what he's looking for, just get it set out, and he's going to come pick them up himself here in a little bit, so let's just take a minute. Okay, Dad's loading the sprayer. 
I've been working on spraying beans all day. I got uh, my seed tender and some bags of, bean, of, of corn that should be plenty for us to finish. Um, I don't know how much of them bags I'm going to need, but it depends on how much is left on the planter and how much is in that box. But you're both unknowns, so uh, I'm going to get somebody to help take me take that down to the field and we'll come back and get the planter. My truck's down at the field with all the seed that I'll need. I'm loading up the fertilizer, last fertilizer load up of the year. We're going to drain this tank, see how much we got in there. I got my flow meter running here. Um, I need a thousand gallons. Well, I don't need quite a thousand gallons because I had a little bit left and there's some on the planter. Um, but I probably need at least 900 gallons out of that tank and I don't know if we're going to get it or not. We'll see how short we are and uh, we'll adjust from there and then we do need some of that ATS yet as well. Well, it's empty. I ended up getting about 600 gallons. So we were about 300 short of what I think we needed. Um, no big deal. We're gonna put in the required ATS, 255 gallons of that, and then we'll dilute this whole solution with water. So we're gonna be a little short on our 1225-0, which means we're not quite getting the same amount of phosphorus. Um, but we're talking about 70 acres, and it's not like it's getting none, so it'll be a good little experiment for us. I would say coming within 200 or 300 gallons on uh, 15, 20,000 gallon uh, total volume. That's all right. That's close enough. We do have a fair amount of the ATS left. Um, but we will use some of that when we put the second shot of nitrogen on our wheat. And uh, I'll use some of it when we do some irrigation this summer for uh, some uh, added nitrogen in the corn, nitrogen and sulfur where we irrigate. All right, guys. We are started on the last farm of corn here. And... Since Phil's done with beans, that means it's the last field to plant. After we're done here, every single field we own or farm will have a crop growing in it, which is awesome. So Phil got this little one here. There's a little triangle field here that's only got six or seven acres in it. He's got that one done. He is working over there and actually moving, doing a good job, but decided we have to hit it twice. Then we're going to do that field as soon as he gets done. Uh, and then there's 46 acres on the other side of the ditch. There's three ditches through here that kind of cut this farm up, uh, about 75 acres total. So um, we'll, we'll get it done tonight. It might be sort of a late night because Phil's got to hit everything twice, which is going to uh, take a little while. Um, and we've got to mess around with a bunch of different seed and stuff because we're going to plant out what's in the planter, put the rest of that box in, see how far that goes. And then we've got bags, and I've got three different varieties of bags there. We'll use what we have to use, and we're going to get this done. Hurry up, tillage man, coming through. He's just finishing up this field. And we are out of seed, so we're gonna run up to the pickup up there by the road and put the next uh, variety in out of that box. And we'll come back and finish it. Last time I'm loading the planter with the tender for the year. And check it out, I have some visitors on their way home from uh, the babysitter today. Might ride for a little bit. Can you all say hi? Grayson's in a bad mood. Because Grayson wants to watch Blippi on Daddy's phone. But we can't take videos if Grayson's watching Blippi. Okay, we've got, uh, what do we got? Like 18 acres left to plant in this field, I believe. 15. And uh, then we're going to have to wait for Phil to get some tillage done ahead of us. Probably going to have to hit that twice to make it plantable. So we're going to get this planted and then we might have to go take a break. I'll go find some lunch or deliver some seed. Or... I'm sure there's plenty of things to do. We're pushing buttons. We got bored, so we're watching phones. But we're almost done here. Picnic on the back of the seed truck. Best meal I've had since planting started, I think. Brown's just chilling in my truck, probably pushing all the buttons. He'll be all right. All right, I uh, got some dinner there. I took my seed tender back to the farm because I'm done with that. Uh, my phone has been ringing off the hook with seed customers today, needing some stuff to finish up. Or I had one new guy called me looking for 33 bags of corn that, uh, like, dude. 
it's March, or it's May 15th, whatever today is, 12th, 13th, something, and he wants it today or tomorrow. Like, you got to give me some notice. So, um, fortunately, we got it. I, I actually got the seed in already this afternoon, and it'll be to him first thing in the morning. So, anyway, I've uh, been messing with that all day. Um, came back over here to the field. Phil's getting pretty far ahead of us. So... We're gonna get the planter. I parked my truck down here where the driveway is for this field. Now I gotta walk way down there to my planter. And this is a nice busy road, so. But I'd rather make the walk now than in a couple of hours when it's cold and dark. Hi. Isn't so, technology amazing, yeah, guys? I'm here. Doing oh, a uh, doing Zoom conference call with all of my family <laughs> to wish happy birthdays. Pretty cool. Everybody coming on somewhere. We, uh, we are getting. Well, hold on. I gotta see what else. We are getting uh, this last field started here. It's a little rough out here, but um, it'll be all right. Ideally, instead of running the disc over it twice, we disc it once and then hit it with the field elevator. But because we're 10 miles from home and I don't have time to go back and get it, and this is good enough. Um, so we're down to 40 acres, and we're gonna get her done here in a couple hours. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, it's nice to have the adoption. Yeah, fun to watch. So. Working hey, side by dog side. How you doing? How's your new dog, your new buddy? Look at this. Oh. Oh. Happy birthday. Crazy. So my uh, low tank warning just came on. We're sitting just under 20 acres left in this field to plant. Um, they are not quite level. If you can see... On that side of the tank, there's a little bit of dark there in the corner, and the other side there is not. So I'm going to go out and level them up, and we'll plan it out and see how far we get. But I am not going to need very many of those bags. Um, two and a half acres per bag, even if we get to 15, that's only six bags, and we should get a little bit past that. Uh, so we may only need four or five extra bags of seed, which is good, because I was thinking I might need 10 or 15 of them. Ha <laughs> ha, he turned his lights on first. You lose! Just kidding. Don't you guys all play that game? See who can wait the longest to turn their lights on? It's always me. And once again, my phone makes it look like it's super bright out yet, but it is getting dark, so time to light it up. Well, I think Phil is done. Looks like he's heading for the driveway. I am down to uh, 14 acres, so he, he beat me, but not by much. He pretty well had to beat me. I mean, I, I, I couldn't plan it unless he got done, so. Anyway, that's a good thing. We're close. The end is in sight. Made it right down to 10 acres to go before I ran out of seed. So, we're going to go dump those four bags in. Should be almost the perfect amount. We'll probably have just a little bit left over, but you're never going to get it all planted out perfectly anyway, so that is okay. That's what we've got left for fertilizer. Maybe 150 gallons in there. And at 15 gallons to the acre, which is our average, 10 acres, we're going to come out just perfect. Here it is, guys. We are on the last pass. I don't think you can see it, but I just got air running through my fertilizer system. Which is close and as good as you're going to get for 200 feet from the end of the field. So that that's perfect. And my low tank warning is on on the seed, but it's not empty yet. So we're going to make it. Um, yeah, came out just right. All right. Well, with that, Plant 2020 is a wrap. Um, man, I, I don't remember the last time we uh, finished this early in the year. Uh, potentially was 2012 when we finished super early, but that was an unusual year. Uh, last three years definitely have been late, uh, either uh, last week of May or into June. Last year we didn't even start until into June. So uh, I am so, so thrilled to be done planting this early. Um, it's supposed to warm up the end of the week and then start raining a little bit. Hopefully it's a decent, calm, nice rain and we don't get stuff pounded in and crusted and flooded and have some replant issues, but we'll address that when we get to it. Um, yeah, so 
Uh, having beans done and corn is awesome. Um, it's great. I'm thrilled. So I still have uh, quite a bit going on around the farm. Uh, I've got a busy day scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, I'll talk about uh, what's next as far as farming stuff goes now that we're done with planting here tomorrow. And uh, we'll make some plans for later this week, next week, that kind of stuff, just to tell you what, what else we've got going on. Um, but yeah, planning is done. Awesome. We're going to go start checking some fields, some of those first planted fields, see uh, how stuff, how close stuff is to coming up, poking through the ground. we got to be getting close to some of those corn fields that we planted there. It's been a week and a half ago now, I think, maybe two weeks ago even. And um, uh, some of those first beans as well have got to be getting awful close to coming up. Uh, and we'll check on our frost damage as well. See, tonight is the last kind of cold night. It's supposed to get down to uh, like 34 degrees tonight. So I don't think we'll get a hard frost or a killing frost. But uh, after that, it's supposed to warm up, be in the 70s during the day and 40s, 50s at night. So that will be nice. Uh, if you guys are all still planting, I hope that it's going well and good luck finishing up for those of you that farm. Um, we're fortunate this year. It hasn't been this way for a while, but we are awfully lucky to be done. So uh, with that, have a great night, everybody. I am going to go and get some sleep tonight. Uh, we've, yeah, no more late nights. Uh, I'm excited to be able to spend some more time with my family and uh, uh, work semi-normal hours again. So. Um, hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons for me please um, I know some people were kind of upset that they didn't get notified about some of my live streams and stuff and I know some of them happened really quick and I apologize for that um, but if you click the bell the notifications and tell you want notified I think it will tell you when I go live so uh, do that for me as well leave me any comments and questions that you've got uh, for me in the comments section and I will be sure and answer those and uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the tractor here in the field tonight because my truck is here. I'm just going to take that and head straight home from here. Uh, we'll worry about getting the tractor back to the farm tomorrow. So have a great night, everybody. We're done with planting. See you tomorrow.